What's up guys, Shane from Figact 3D Printing and today we're gonna check out the June MakerBox. Welcome back guys. So as I said, today is the June MakerBox. I am playing catch up right now on the ones that I received over the summer and now we're up to June. So we're gonna dive in and see what came in this month. So right up top, we have a get the shirt. So Printed Solid is now making some MakerBox shirts. I would love one. That would be awesome. So it tells you where to go and buy that. And then get, uh, so get extra value. From the, so this is their information card. They've changed it up a little bit. Get extra value from the box. So the discounts, it gives you the password here. So it's extrudingknowledge.com slash codes. Each month has this card in it, which has a specific password to get you into those discount codes. Then you can buy full rolls of these filaments from Printed Solid. It's 25% discounts on past samples and full spools of, fast, of past filaments. Ooh, that's not too bad. Of spools and samples, there's websites here for all of that stuff. And then the referral program, as you guys know, and I hope most people use it when you sign up, but every three people that uh, subscribe to MakerBox with my link and discount code down below, I get a free box. So every couple months I end up getting that. Uh, thankfully it does roll over month to month. So if I get one person for three months, that third month I then get a free box. Let's see what else do we have here. So uh, exclusive offer MakerBox subscribers. Okay, so it's a 10% discount for a big old sample pack. All right, and then we have a Poly Alchemy sticker. It added my sticker pile. Okay, so let's dig in to what we have. Oh, there it is. I'm gonna say there's no candy. Nerds, love it. Okay, so up first we have Engen Lux from Color Fab, and this looks to be a silver goldish with lots of sparkles in it filament. This might look amazing once it's printed. All right, so let's look here. The hot end temperature, 220 to 240. Bed temperature, 75 to 80. Cold bed, possible but tricky. Speed, 40 to 70. So the info, Color Fab Engine blended with reflective material uses to fuse reflector to scatter light in all directions. For the eye, it's nearly impossible spot layering even at 0.2 millimeter layer height. Cool, 85C temperature resistance. Okay, part cooling fan, zero to 30. So this kind of seems to be like a PETG is when I'm gonna take this. I'm, I wonder if it's, yeah, doesn't say anything about any uh, fumes or anything like that, but I'm really looking forward to how this is gonna look. Oh, that's, it's polyalchemy. Okay, yeah, so it's a great big polyalchemy elixir sample pack, what you can get. Um, so that's interesting. And it's pre-orders open from July 1st to July 26th. Um, yeah, it's September for me, so that's not gonna happen. Anyways, continuing on, we have Elixir Gold from Poly Alchemy, and it is very golden. It is almost orange. It's so golden, and it's a silk filament. All right, so the print settings, hot and temperature 200 to 220, so it's a PLA. Uh, bed temperature, room to 55, speed 30 to 90 meters second. Info, a custom PLA blend produced satin-like surface finish. Adjust temperature to get best surface finish. Okay, so that is very interesting. But yeah, it's just a silk filament. But everyone raves about polyalchemy online, so I've never, tr I might've tried it before, I don't know though. But either way, I'm happy to try it out. All right, then we have general PLA from Push Plastics, plastic. Print settings, 190, 220. The bed temperature is none to 60. Speed, 39 meters per second. Info, a high quality standard, high quality standard quality PLA, available in many great colors. Enjoy 50% extra length to sample this month. Made in the USA with 100% virgin materials. So yeah, so what MakerBox is doing now is you have the four filaments and one of them is gonna have extra to it. So normally it is 16 meters per sample. This one's gonna be 24 meters. That's not too bad. It looks to be like a translucent uh, red. So we'll see how that turns out. All right, now we have PC Max in white from Polymaker. So PC is polycarbonate. So this does, I guess you don't need an all metal hot end if you print on the lower end of it, but the print settings here, hot end temperature 250 to 270. 
be careful with your PTFE line throat because if you go, I mean, a lot of people say it breaks down like 240, 245, 245. I say 250, 255, uh, depending on what you're using. But either way, right around 250, 255 is when it starts to break down. So if you're going to print 270 with your uh, PTFE lined throat, be aware you might melt that. So just kind of know that. Uh, bed temperature 80, speed 39 per second. Info, PC Max offers high printing quality, great mechanical strength, high heat resistance, excellent impact strength and fracture toughness. Biltec and an enclosure advised printing in a well-ventilated area is advised for polycarbonate. Yes, so this uh, does print really well in an enclosure. So thankfully this room is small. Once I start a print, I can just close all the windows and door and everything and walk out the room. And it does require to be ventilated because it is kind of like ABS. It is kind of like ABS, so it does leave out fumes. So be aware of that. All right then, let's get these on the printers and let's see how they all turn out. All right guys, welcome back. So the prints are done and that was pretty quick. I was able to do this actually very quickly now that I have several machines. I don't have any other projects really going on right now. So let's get these done quickly. I had really good results with three of them, not so much with one of them. And sadly, one of the most expensive ones I've ever seen. So we're gonna go look at the good ones first and then we're gonna look at the one that didn't fare so well and that was the Engine Lux from ColorFab. So let's take a closer look at these. Okay, so first up here we have the PLA from Push Plastics, and this came out absolutely just great. Uh, this was printed on the Anycubic i3 Mega. I had no under extrusions in it at all. It printed super clean. I mean, look how clean that is. Bottom side was really, really good. Again, on the Ultra Base, it gives that really nice bottom to it. But over the supports, it did, again, really well. I had no problems with any of the supports coming off, they peeled off very easily. As you can see, then they did very well over top of those supports where that was at. And then if we go around down here in the cog, everything came out great. Really nice and rounded. A few pimples here and there, but this is right here, not even a pimple. This is just some leftover from the little bit of support, that first uh, dense support layer. Sometimes it gets stuck to it a little bit. But other than that, I mean, man, this was just an absolute fantastic print. Okay, now we have a super duper shiny one. This is Elixir Gold from Poly Alchemy. Now when this goes down, it looks very, very yellow. But as the, uh, like, I mean, it's sort of like, like really yellow, like fluorescent yellow first goes down. But then as it stacks on each other, it really starts getting that orangish gold look to it. But yeah, great, great quality in this one. There's a little bit of pimpling on it. That is just some retraction issues I'm still working out on the Monoprice i3, not the MPS, not the Monoprice like mini, just the Monoprice i3. But either way, it printed it very, very well. Bottom layer came out great. It actually did a little bit of poor adhesion though on the first two layers as a little bit came off when I pulled it off the bed. Over the support, it kind of did how I figured it would do over support, how most silk filaments do over support, which is not fantastic, but not bad. And then over here on the cogs for the overhangs, it fared very well. Very few, like this one right here is not great. Right here is not great, but for the most part, they all turned out really well. Again, just a little bit more pimpling in there. You do see some of the uh, layer changes, which is very common in these silky filaments, but I mean, this is like really, really shiny. Probably the shiniest uh, filament I've ever used. All right, next up here, we have PC Max White from Polymaker. This printed excellent, really, really excellent. It looks amazing. It's a very, very bright white, very clean. I did have a little bit of mishap here on the first layer because this is part of the first part that prints on the model. So I'm guessing there was a little bit of something left on the nozzle that came off. I thought I had it cleaned off, but apparently I didn't. Uh, this was printed on the, uh, um, this was printed on the CR10S uh, printed on PEI sheet using a little bit of glue to hold it down. Uh, I left the room, let it print, and it, you know, no warping anywhere, no cracks anywhere. It just printed out absolutely beautifully. Very clean print. Over supports, it did extremely well. I mean, one of the best I've had over supports there. No real issues at all. There's a little bit of support left on these two down here. A little hard to get. I need to get out my snips and just pluck those out. But other than that, great walls, you know, really, really nice print, really, really nice filament. All right, and here I have two prints from the Engine Lux by ColorFab. 
Now I will first off by saying I looked on Printed Solid's website. This is $85 a roll. It is very, very expensive and I don't really know why. It's a PLA with glitter in it. You can get that from Protopasta for way less than half of that. Um, Form Futures putting some out. Also, like there's a lot of other, Prusa has some out there now. A lot of options on that, but this stuff is expensive and I'm super upset that these both failed. Now what happened actually was kinks in the filament. So it was going off of the spool and it actually would kink. And I can show you right here some of the kinks that had happened. And I don't know why, I think it just kind of unraveled a little bit too fast on the spool and that's what caused the kink. So two different layer heights this is the first one, this is the second one. But again, it kinked both times. But for the sidewalls on these, really nice. Uh, it said it was kind of hard to see the layers. Yeah, I mean, it's it's harder. It's not like wood filament or carbon fiber, but it's it's pretty close. Over supports, it did very, very well. You know, no issues on there at all. I mean, it does, it does look like an amazing filament, but I'm just super upset that this is how it's gonna have to look. And you know, and both of them did well. Again, this one still has the support on it. It comes off very, very easily. You just peel it right off on most of it very easily. So. It worked out well, but I'm just really upset that it kinked. And I think just the filament actually is a little bit softer. So that's kind of why that happened. And it just, you know, that's upsetting. So that's it. I mean, again, aside from the mishap with the NGen Lux, these printed out fantastically on multiple machines. I'm really happy to see that. I really would like to get a roll of this kind of to give it more of the, a good try or maybe see if I can get another sample just to get a nice clean coin out of it for whenever I start doing the website and things like that. So I'll have to reach out to MakerBox and see if they can throw one in a box for me. But it is extremely expensive filament. I went to look to see how much would be buy like that's $85 a roll. It's crazy. So, but that's that. And I know Elixir is also pretty expensive, but the outcome of it is pretty nice. It really is amazingly shiny. That's, I mean, it's super reflective. We can call it that. But yeah, it was really nice though. All right, so if you guys wanna get in on the Maker Box and try these filaments out for yourself, there are some deals going on. So first off, you can use my coupon code down below. That gives you 15% off. For every three people that use that coupon code, I get a free box, which is awesome. So I thank you all that have been signing up using the coupon code or the link down below. What also Maker Box is now doing is they're throwing an extra fifth sample in your very first Maker Box. So you're gonna get five samples on that first box at a 15% discount. That's pretty doggone nice. And for how expensive some of these samples are, again, this is $85 a roll. The protopasta that I've had in a lot of other boxes, that's $40 a roll at a minimum. That's not even if they're doing any of the iron or any of their metal filled PLAs, which are up to $80 a roll for 750 grams, not even a full kilogram. That's a really good deal. And I think that that will definitely attract some other people to get a little bit of an extra sample to try these out. Again, MakerBox is a great way to learn how to use other filaments, how to tune your printers better, and to just become more knowledgeable about different plastics when it comes to 3D printing. I might not understand all of the scientific terms on these, but I can understand how printability is or how good the printability is on a lot of filaments now. I've tested probably well over 200 filaments and it has been a fantastic adventure. So I highly recommend it. Again, you can use the coupon code down below. You get 15% off and you get a fifth sample filament. And if you refer other people, you guys can then get free boxes and you will get a free fifth sample in your box. Or for every person that signs up, you get a free sample. If 10 people sign up, I could have upwards of 14 samples coming to me if 10 people sign up. That's insane. So check that out down below. It's definitely worth it. That is the conclusion of this MakerBox video. So thank you guys for watching. I greatly enjoyed doing them. And if you guys enjoyed the video, you know what? Give it a big thumbs up. If you didn't, thumbs down. Talk in the comments down below. I'd love to hear from you guys on how I do the MakerBox videos. If you guys want to stay tuned to what's going on, make sure you become a subscriber and hit that bell icon. That way you get an email notification when I upload new content or do any live streams. If you guys support me financially, best thing to do right below me is a Patreon link. Donate a dollar more. I appreciate it. You guys become one of my patrons. And with that $1 donation at a minimum, 
you get access to my after show. I do after shows after almost all of my new videos to kind of give you a little bit of insight about myself and a little bit of background about some of the videos I'm doing or things I'm working on also in the background. So head on down below and check that out. If you want to donate some other ways, there's Streamlabs or Buy Me a Coffee down below. And there's also gonna be a lot of fill links down there. I've added a bunch of new ones, so please go down, check those out, update your bookmarks, and a little slice of what you buy with those ends up coming back here to help me out. So thank you guys for watching, and until next time, happy printing.